Good evening, it's Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and I'm gonna talk fast so I don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. The crate is back. But this time, I'm not getting any new chickens. We're taking one down a couple of pegs, almost literally. So very quickly, I'm just going to discuss our situation. Nothing really serious is going on. I have five chickens. The newest two are, are Easter Eggers, who are probably hiding back behind there. I just came out. And they are being, I don't want to throw this word around, but they're being bullied by my alpha, who is hiding in there and pretending she doesn't see me. Calypso, my big black hen. She's heavy too, guys. Um, so what we're going to do... Where are my Easter Eggers? Hold on a second. Now I'm having like a little minute of panic. Hurry up. Where are your sisters? Oh yeah, they're up there. Okay. <sighs> For a second, this was going to turn into a different kind of video. Um, so essentially what's happening is I've got the five chickens. The two newest girls have been integrated for, gosh, two and a half weeks now? Three and a half weeks? I don't even remember. At least two and a half weeks. And they're still getting bullied a little bit by my alpha hen. Now, when I did another integration with Lacey and Gracie, they integrated just fine. And it was like, hey, cool, whatever. It was it was really simple. Um, you know, the fact that I had to keep the new birds in quarantine over here, and I have other videos on that if you're interested. Um, but you know, that's kind of a pain because you've got to keep this clean separate and their water, they're always getting crap in their water and their food and whatever. But other than being an inconvenience, it, would, it went really smoothly. And me integrating these Easter eggers has been kind of a disaster. Um, you know, I've had everything from their clipping their wings was really, really difficult to, um, you know, dealing with blue. I've got a few videos that, that came up recently with Bumblefoot. I've been treating her for medical issues, but now I'm just, I'm really sick of Little Miss. I think I'm the, the alpha the ruler of the roost, if you will. Did you realize how many expressions we have in the English language that have to do with chickens? Anyway, <laughs> um, so I have been asking around with people who, again, are more intelligent than I am, and they all were like, you know what? Lock her up for a couple of days. Put your alpha, mm -hmm, who's being a bully. It's the big black hen who's looking at you right now. And her name is Calypso because ever since she's been a chick, I've, I got her when she was six days old. She was acting like, I'm independent, I don't need no man, I'm not afraid of anything, I don't care what the rest of the flock is doing, I'm going to do my own thing. Um, she was always the one, if anybody left a door open or there was any opportunity to escape or get into something you're not supposed to get into, it's her. So, um, but I've kind of had it with the bullying because um, a case in point, um, you know, my chickens are in this area and they've got shade here with with this pecan tree with overhanging trees I'm trying to not make you guys like motion sickness but um calypso when it was raining earlier calypso was standing here in the doorway let lacy and gracie go in so that they could get out of the rain wouldn't let the other two hens in so my my easter eggers got all wet because they had to stand out here and calypso was doing like you know gandalf not letting anybody pass type thing and she still randomly will go around and chase the the Easter Eggers like, oh, you know what? I want to be over here, so I'm going to chase you guys to the other side of the yard. And the Easter Eggers, particularly Flopsy, one of the new girls, is like, she's never going to calm down unless this stops. So here's what I'm going to do. Calypso is going to be put in quarantine for not that long. I mean, two, maybe three days. And because I've tried carrying her around by her feet and <laughs> speaking to her sternly, and it hasn't worked. Um, now there's not any blood, any serious injury with the bullying, but it's just, my girls don't have that much space. They have plenty of space for five chickens, but it's a long and narrow space. And while they can free range over here and eat out of the grazing box, the cover is over here. The water is over here. And I thought about making two different water zones and I thought, and it was like, no, you know what? This chicken's just got to cool it. So instead of me completely redoing everything and adding separate water stations and all of that, like we're just not doing the gang thing anymore. So what's gonna happen is here as it gets close to dark and the chickens are all lethargic and slower and you know, just half asleep, I'm going to grab her and put her in. I've got a fresh water bowl and fresh food that I'm gonna put in there for her. Um, I'll clean it out. The tarp is there because again, it's rainy. Um, I will say for putting this crate down, this crate is made by, I wanted to say it's just called like A1 crates or something. And it's, it's really, really, really well made. It's very heavy duty. It's, it's awesome. It folds up. But what I did is I did put the tray in this time, as you can see, so I can keep that, that dry. 
but I also had some um, some really long just you know like flower bed border pieces but they're concrete so she's actually a good whoop, three or four inches off the ground so in case we do get crazy rain again um, I don't think we're due for that much but in case we do you know her pine shavings will stay dry because I'm guys I'm not dealing with more bumblefoot like holy crap that was such a nightmare so waiting for this see look at this the two Easter eggs are up in the nesting boxes now Callie is not gonna go lay an egg right now but she's just She's just bothered by them. Like I suddenly decide I don't want you right here, so I'm gonna chase you away. And it's just it's just enough. So again, it's not a serious issue where I need to rehome her because she's killing off birds or there's blood or anything like that. But if you've watched my other videos, you know that these Easter eggers have had a rough time. They're also molting. They haven't laid an egg in two weeks. Um, you know, the seasons are changing. We're definitely getting a lot less sunlight here. Um, I'm talking fast because it's already getting dark. So I've just kind of had it with her. So this is not going to harm her. I am going to give her food and water constantly. She will be sheltered. She will be safe. Um, I'll put some, some branches and some other stuff in there too, um, you know, so she can feel like she's kind of roosting and, and that kind of stuff. But I've just, I've just had it. So if you've got a hen or a rooster who's being a bully, the easiest thing to do is to grab them by the feet and just kind of hold them upside down for a minute. You can rock them. Hey, thanks for that, you brat. See, she's like, I know what you're going to do, so I'm going to poop on your video. Um, so, um, you know, the easiest thing, and it sometimes works for up to days at a time. I, this, I've, I think carried her around by her feet three times. And I felt like the first couple of times it, it like, you know, she chilled out for a couple of days and it worked temporarily. But now like, look at her. She's just, she's just so mad that they're in there. Like, why are you in my space? I, I want to be here. It's like dealing with like a belligerent toddler. So we're going to crate her up for a couple of days. Now I'll say... You know, again, I'm not going to let her get wet. It's not going to be an abuse type thing. She's still right around where all of the other chickens are. She's going to have um, access to food and water constantly. The other thing to be aware of, though, that some people warn me about is, hey, there's a possibility that when she comes back out, she's not even going to be the alpha anymore. If your other four hens integrate well enough while Calypso's locked up, she may lose her spot in the pecking order, which to me, I'm kind of like, well, if that happens, oh my gosh, I have like nine mosquitoes on me, sorry. Um, so if that happens, that happens, but that needs to be something that you, you know, you cannot control the pecking order. You can't say, well, I want you guys to be in this order and I'm doing, like, it's not like fantasy football. You can't decide who, who does what. Um, they're going to do, listen to her, like, she's in there right now chasing them out. So again, there's, there's no blood, there's no, like, limping or anything like that, but this is persistent enough and it's hurting my heart and it's bothering me and I'm just done. Look, like, see, she just randomly decided she wants to kick them out. So, hey, girls. Hey, girls. This is Flopsy right here. And then Blue's the one who's still sitting right there. I know you're looking through a grid. I apologize. So anyway, um, it's just a very straightforward short video. Like, you know, we're going to lock up a bully.